Well, it was appropriate that St. Peter's Basilica in Rome was struck by lightning yesterday on the same day that Pope Benedict XVI announced his resignation. Because if you think that the Mayan 2012 doomsday prophecy hysteria was something to behold, then you ain't seen nothing yet. This is Saint Malachi, a 12th century Irish bishop who in 1139 AD travelled to Rome and apparently received a vision of all the future pontiffs. It became known as the prophecy of the popes. And basically this was a prophecy, a list of all the future popes um, that would head up the Catholic Church starting from 1143. And you can go down the list here. They've got a list on Wikipedia. Right through until the present day. Of course, the resignation yesterday. The announcement of the resignation of Ratzinger. And then, after him, we find the final Pope. And although a lot of these prophecies are open to wild interpretation, several of them actually prove stunningly accurate. Here's an example that Market Watch is reporting on. For instance, and this is one of the prophecies of Saint Malachi, John Paul I is listed as Demetiate Lune, meaning the middle of the moon. Modern interpreters say this predicted that John Paul I's reign would begin during a half moon and last just one month, which it did. And then it goes on to talk about John Paul II. Um, described being of the sun's labour because he was born during a solar eclipse. And as the International Business Times reports today, according to the prophecy, Pope John Paul II fit that description because he was born on a solar eclipse and he was entombed on April 8th, 2005, when another solar eclipse occurred. So in the case of John Paul I, John Paul II, St. Malachi's predictions, according to those interpretations, appeared to be accurate. And then another example here, which Max Slavo points out, relating to Pope Benedict XVI himself, the German-born pontiff described in Malachi's prophecy as the Gloria Olive, or the glory of the olive, which some supporters of the prophecy suggest is a reference to the Benedictine order of monks from whom Benedict got his namesake. The monks are also known as the, the Olivetans and are represented by an olive branch, leading many to believe that Saint Malachi was once again right. So in the case of the last three popes, Saint Malachi's prophecy, his prediction, was proven accurate. So what is Saint Malachi saying about the Pope who is set to succeed Ratzinger when he resigns in a few weeks' time. This is what he said. In extreme persecution, the seat of the Holy Roman Church will be occupied by Peter the Roman, who will pasture his sheep in many tribulations, and when these things are finished, the city of seven hills, which is Rome, will be destroyed, and the terrible or fearsome judge will judge his people. And St. Malachi predicted that the next Pope, Peter the Roman, will be the final Pope. The list does not go on. He's slated to be the last Pope of the Catholic Church. So who, according to betting websites, is one of the favourites to become the next Pope? It's this guy. And guess what his name is? Cardinal Peter Turkson. Or as St. Malachi would have it, Petrus Romanus or Peter the Roman. So the guy who is one of the front runners to become the next Pope, his name would fit in precisely with the prophecy of the Popes made by Saint Malachi. So now you know what I mean by saying, you know, if you thought the Mayan prophecy stuff was crazy, then wait until people get a hold of this one. And if that wasn't apocalyptic enough for you, there's also a reference in the book of Revelations um, jiving with what St. Malachi said about the destruction of the city of Seven Hill. Within the book of Revelation, also known as the Apocalypse of John, are references to the destruction of the city of Seven Hills, Rome, and to the many trials that will be faced by mankind ahead of the final judgment, the rapture, the rise of the Antichrist, seven years of tribulations, and the end of days. 
Suffice to say, if the prophecy is accurate, then the world will soon be engulfed in a battle between good and evil. So, the debate is basically raging amongst people who have studied this, that this final pope will be the one, the false prophet, who will help give rise to the Antichrist. This is end times prophecy realized, at least according to some. So the question is, is this just going to be a regurgitation of the kind of Mayan 2012 doomsday hysteria that dominated over the last few years until, of course, 2012 came around, December 2012, and nothing happened? Or is it a genuine prophecy, given the fact that Saint Malachi was starting, startlingly accurate with his previous predictions uh, regarding John Paul I, John Paul II, and Cardinal Ratzinger. Is there really something to this prophecy of the popes and the final pope? Or is it just more doomsday hysteria, just as the Mayan calendar issue was? Will it prove to be a complete distraction? I'll tell you something for sure. The debate on this is going to rage over the next couple of months. Uh, as Ratzinger resigns, and the next Pope, possibly the final Pope, Peter of Rome, uh, is anointed. So we'll continue to track it, but you can bet your bottom dollar that everybody's going to be talking about it. It's Paul Joseph Watson with Infowars.com.